Hey guys, it's Nick Bosco here. I'm um, trying something new on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna really try and put out more content, um, you know, maybe um, day in the life type stuff, um, breaking news, my two cents. Um, I'm trying a couple different things. So right now we're gonna do what I'm gonna be calling the five minute report. So I'm just gonna be reporting on a certain subject, whatever it might be, something that just breaks in the news. Um, it's all gonna be like less than five minutes. So you guys can just, um, you know, subscribe to my channel and check out whatever little videos I put up. It won't take much of your time but I really appreciate it. So today we're gonna to talk about uh, this Conor McGregor fight announcement. That's not really a fight announcement, it's kind of a fight announcement. I don't know, it's like a, um, well, hoping to be back, I guess. So he went to Russia to promote his proper whiskey, proper 12 whiskey, and he was talking to some media out there um, to a press conference, and he stated that he is hoping to be back at the UFC January 18th. That's the day he picked. Um, you know, he's promised to come back to the UFC quite a few times over the past year. Uh, he retired. Then he decided he's not retired. He's, he wants to another fight with Khabib. He wants to fight Frankie Edgar. He, uh, one time he mentioned Jose Aldo. He mentioned, Do uh, Don Donald Cerrone. He mentioned Anthony Pettis. He was quickly, you know, linked to a fight with him. So all this, all this talk, but no real action of coming back. Um, he said he wanted to fight. Um, sorry, there was just a bee near me. Uh, it's such a nice day out. I figured I'd do this outside, so hopefully it won't get stung by me. <laughs> um, so he he said he originally wanted to come back at the end of the year for the big end of the year show, but that fight card is already filled up. Plus, he didn't really have an opponent for that. Um, so he said he's going to be coming back January 18th. As of right now, that's not a pay-per-view event in um, in Las Vegas, but he. Wants it to be in Las Vegas, I guess, and Dana White said that they're guess they're trying to make that happen, which is not shocking because you know, uh, despite all Connor's negatives, which there are a lot, and there's been a lot in the news lately. You know, he's been the the subject of a bunch of possible sexual assault cases. You know, alleged like he's not his name actually hasn't come out in the the Irish. Um, police or anything like that because of the, the laws they have over there so they're keeping the name private but you know the New York Times has called him out by name so there's that there's you know he's he lost his last fight who's he gonna fight next he wants to fight for a title is he only one to fight in a main event he's the only one to fight in a pay-per-view there's so many things but the UFC will give in to him you know they will anyone who's been watching knows that they'll give in to him because he's the number one money maker he's such a big star and it's not right that it is this way, but it is this way. You know what I'm saying? Like the UFC needs him to make the money. If, if they can't afford to like really hurt their relationship with him right now, and if they will overlook all this negative stuff that's been going on with him, which they obviously will since they don't really seem to care about that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, promoting Greg, Greg Hardy is a, a simple show that the UFC doesn't give two shits. <laughs> but... So if they do let him do what he wants, which we know they will, January 18th, he said he wants to fight that day. Then he wants the winner of this baddest motherfucker, whatever belt that they're giving to either Nate Diaz or Jose, um, sorry, Jorge Masvidal, you know, in next week, November. And so he wants the winner of that, which I'm guessing he's hoping is Nate Diaz since he knows if he can beat him. He's done it before. And then after that, he wants to fight Khabib in Russia, which I don't see why not. <laughs> you know, at this point, if he gets another win or two wins, of course they're going to give him a title shot. If he doesn't get another win in the next year, with say he fights two times and doesn't win at all, there's no way that he should be able to get that fight, title fight against Khabib. But as I said before, the UFC works in a way that they give him whatever they want. So, you know, that's... That's what he wants, so we'll see if that even happens. Uh, the January 18th fight, there are uh, a couple possible. Maybe maybe he'll fight Anthony Pettis, you know? Like, I think that's a fight that may interest him. A fight that he may think that he can win. I'm not sure what I think yet. But, um, yeah. So, that's, that's my two cents about that. Uh, I wrote a little article for Fansided. You guys can check that out. It's on my uh, Twitter. Um, you can subscribe to my Twitter. It's at Nick Boss, N-I-K-B-O-S. And if you could please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm hoping to do more videos like this. Just like quick little, you know, quick little clips of me talking. And hopefully 
Uh, I'll be putting out more content. Of, I'm going down to the city next week for UFC 244, so maybe I'll film a couple things over there, and you know, hopefully you guys are interested in what's going on with me, and I'll hope be putting out more content. So we're at the five minute mark right now, so five minute report is done. Please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.